Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Wikis in London. This video is made for the tourist and the newcomers of London. In this video, you will see the main attractions of London. Starting from the beautiful architecture of Big Ben. To get to Big Ben, you can take the district line or the jubilee line towards Westminster. The official name of the tower in which Big Ben is located was originally the Clock Tower, but it was renamed as Elizabeth Tower in 2012 to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Elizabeth II. It was constructed in 1859. Next is Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is the royal residence of King Charles. The palace has 775 rooms and the garden is the largest private garden in London. To get to Buckingham Palace, you can get the Piccadilly Line or the Jubilee Line towards Green Park. From there, it's just 5 minutes walk towards the Buckingham Palace. Next is London Eye or the Millennium Wheel. The structure is 135 meters tall. The wheel has a diameter of 120 meters. The London Eye was formally opened by the former Prime Minister Tony Blair on 31st December 1999, but it was opened to public on 9th March 2000. The standard ticket cost £25.50 for adults. There is also a package in this, London Eye plus River Cruise, that is £46 per adult. You can book the tickets at londoneye.com slash tickets. The London Eye is opened at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. The closest station next to London Eye is Westminster. Next is the Shard. Shard is also referred as the Shard London Bridge and formerly London Bridge Tower. It's a 72 story skyscraper. The Shard is the tallest building in the United Kingdom and the second tallest building in Europe. The Shard was opened to public on the 1st of 2013. If you are looking for a beautiful view from the Europe's second tallest building, it costs £28 per person. You will surely love the scenery over there. Make sure to take beautiful photos and videos over there. The tube station next to the Shard is the London Bridge Station. Next is the famous Tower Bridge. The bridge was built in 1894. The bridge was opened by Edward, Prince of Wales and Alexandria, Princess of Wales in 1894. The length of the bridge is 240 meters and in height it's 65 meters. Tickets for the Tower Bridge is £12.30 per hurdle and for children it's £6.20. If you want to see the bridge opening up for ships to pass by, it's better to see it in between 7.30 to 8.15 pm. But if you're interested to see much more big ships cross by, then please do visit towerbridge.org.uk slash lift times. But if you want to visit the tower, then it opens at 9.30 am to 6 pm. Best time to go to Tower Bridge is on the weekdays. You won't find so much of public, but if on Saturday and Sundays it will be fully crowded. To get to Tower Bridge, you can go to Tower Hill Station. That's on the district line.
Next is Regent Street. Regent Street is a major shopping street in the West End of London. Regent Street is known for its flagship retail stores. You will see the Uni of Westminster. It has been based on Regent Street since 1838. Regent Street was one of the first planned developments of London. So if you want to shop, please do visit Regent Street in London. It is right next to Piccadilly Circus and Oxford Street. If you want to visit Regent Street by tube, you can take the Piccadilly line. Next is Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square is located in central London. The square is named after the Battle of Trafalgar. Trafalgar Square is right next to the National Gallery. Make sure to visit in the weekends. You will definitely find a lot of stalls put up here. Thank you for watching.